Hey guys, I'm going to take you along with me um, in this vlog. We're going to go to Dimmix, which is my favorite bookstore in Australia. I ordered three books last night. One of them's being delivered and it won't be delivered for ages because I didn't realize that I missed out. Like it all sold out nationwide and I'm like, damn it. So I have to wait for the second restock, which will be soon, like next month, which sucks. But you know, you just got to deal with it, you know, but I ended up getting, so that one that's been delivered is divine rivals. And then, um, the two books that I'm picking up today right now is heartless and master the, and masters of death. I forgot who they're by, so I'll show you once I pick them up. Let's let's go. Um, this morning I started reading a bit more of Heartless by Elsie Silva. I love it. I'm really loving Willa. I feel like I'm going to absolutely love Cade as well. Love Luke, his little son. Um, yeah, just really vibing. And it's nice to know that she can play guitar and, yeah, she's just a, she's just a people person. I love it. Um, yeah, exciting. I'll keep, I'll keep you updated with my thoughts on this. Spoiler free, obviously. I've also been listening to a lot of country music and I recently made a cute little playlist, um, that really like hypes me up while I'm reading all of my Elsie Silver books. It's really, really good. I'm loving it. And also while I'm reading all the Elsie Silver books, any country things, I listen to instrumental country music because I just feel like if it's actual songs with lyrics, I get very distracted. So it still it gives me, it feels that ambience and that vibe, aesthetic. Um, what else? I'm also listening to Before We Were Strangers on Audible. I need to get that ready to go actually, <laughs> which will be good. I usually listen to it with my Bluetooth speakers. So I'll take you guys along with me. Let's go. Uh. I honestly wish I could put more effort into my appearance right now, but this is future me. I'm feeling really unwell. <coughs> I'm also back <coughs> at my house right now. In this vlog, I was at my mum's house. And um, majority of it, like if you see me in a bed, that's not my bed. That's not my bedroom. It's not my aesthetic. Okay. But I just wanted to say one thing. I read Before We Were Strangers and for quite a while of reading it, I was like, oh, this is, this is good writing. I really liked the writing style. Um, it's been days now since I've finished it. Um, I actually really liked it. There were moments where I was like, God, that's cringe. That is cringe, but you know what? I can read Elsie Silver books and like just the thoughts of the characters in the Elsie Silver books when they're like trying so hard not to enjoy what they are thinking about and fantasizing about and that's like, <laughs> without spoilers, some, some things I'm just like, oh, wow, like what I'm reading. Wait, let's check, let's check, um, what my rating was for, before we were, <coughs> I'm pretty, <coughs> I didn't give it a five star, but I'm pretty sure I gave it 4.75, yeah, 4.75, and then I said, fuck, this was lovely, um, just thought it was really cute by the end, I was like, oh my god, like, there was like a slight plot twist, and I was like, oh. Now, I think I really, really like this. I love where it was going the whole time, though. The whole time. But at first, I was like, oh, yeah, the writing style's good, but I just think it's a bit weird, you know. But it's definitely a good book. Like, I'm glad I read it because everyone in the whole freaking booktube has read it and all have recommended it. So I'm glad I read it. It's now ticked off the bucket list of reading books. So, yeah, just wanted to insert my 4.75 stars for Before We Were Strangers. Hi, guys. Okay, I'm here. I've It took 50 minutes, 50, to get here. Um, I feel so drained. All I've had today was two pieces of toast. I just feel really shit. Like, I feel like my body's 
Mm, I don't want to like jinx it, like touch wood, but I just feel like my body is starting to feel a bit run down, as well as I was feeling really nauseous that whole drive. But anyway, it's time to just quiche it up. Maybe walking around in the center will make me feel a bit better. Might get something to eat there as well. I need something. Guys, words cannot describe how happy and exhilarated I feel right now. Um, oh, okay, so last night, I, as I said earlier in my vlog, I impulsively bought three books and I knew that one of them was going to be delivered to me, but like in over a month. <laughs> I then bought two from Dimix. I love Dimix. And the click and collect order was all ready to go today. And I was like, Slate, all right, awesome. I get into the store, I've collected the books that I purchased and all of a sudden I turn to the left and on the like top 10 books of the week, the book that I actually purchased already was there but with a better cover. This is Rebecca Ross's Divine Rivals and when I saw it, I like, I like gasped. I was like, I am genuinely getting this right now. I was like, I'm getting it and I'm happy. And I had to then go on to Booktopia and just say, sorry, um, could I please get a refund? I've already purchased another one. Um, saw in person rather than waiting, you know what I mean? Um, so I'll be getting a refund, which is really good, but I've got this, I'm so happy. <laughs> Look at the cover guys. Look at the cover. Divine Rivals. Let's just read what the blurb says. When true rival journalists find love through a magical connection, their fate depends on their facing the depths of hell together. After centuries of sleep, the gods are wearing again. Expelled into the middle of a mystical war, magical typewriters in tow, can Iris Winnow and Roman Kit's unlikely bond withstand the fight for the fate of mankind and, most importantly, love. Praise for divine rivals. Rich and romantic, if stories had sense, this one would smell like a mug of black tea, the ink ribbons of a typewriter, and the addictive spice called enemies to lovers. Oh, oh my God. Okay, sorry. When I saw enemies to lovers, because like I genuinely didn't know what this book was about. Okay, no God, no war, no one can come between them. Mm. Oh. Divine Rivals has a table of contents. It's got prologue. Then in part one, there's 14 chapters. Part two, oh sorry, part one is called Letters Through the Wardrobe. Part two, there's New From Afar and there's 14 chapters as well. And then part three, the words in between, there's about 14 and then there's an epilogue. Okay, write me of hope and love and hearts that endured. Emily Dickinson, and oh, I love Emily Dickinson. So, okay, Rebecca Ross loves Emily Dickinson. I also purchased, okay, because it's kind of like this is meaningful to me because I'm a massive bookworm and I recently did Matilda the Musical. I directed it. I saw this bookmark and it says Matilda and it was, oh no, the ribbon. You know, I'm not, I don't have a lot of energy right now, to be honest. Oh, the ribbon keeps falling out. This is so sad. Okay. So I've got a little Matilda one, which is really cute because she reminds me of me in a way. Um, she was brought up with abuse um, and 
she's on her own and so am I and severely misunderstood by the world very cute so yeah okay anyway let's keep going so I've got I just can't get over how beautiful this looks ah! okay and then so these were the books that I got clicking collected these two now so Sarah Caroli, she has posted a vlog of her reading this book and she had no idea like if it was going to be a five stars or not. And then it was. So she got it. She gave it a five stars. I trust her immensely when it comes to fantasy books as well. So this is Powerless by Lauren Roberts. Um, okay. I actually, <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, it smells beautiful. Okay. Only the extraordinary belong in the kingdom of Ilya. The elites have possessed powers for decades, gifted to them by the plague. While those born ordinary are just that, banished from the kingdom of Ilya and shunned from society. No one knows this better than Payden Gray, an ordinary posing as a psychic to blend in with the elites. When she unsuspectingly saves one of Ilya's princes, Kai Aza, she's thrown into the purging trials, a brutal competition showcasing the elite's powers. If the trials and the opponents within them don't kill her, the prince she's fighting for, Sorry. the prince she's fighting feelings for will if, okay, I actually want to die. Sorry. <laughs> if the trials and the opponents within them don't kill her, the prince she's fighting feelings for will if he discovers that Payton is completely ordinary. Um, and she was saying in her vlog when she was reading this that like they have such cute banter like it's like cute things that they're saying to each other and I just feel like if she, like I've watched her reading vlog it was a non-spoiler free it was a spoiler free one um oh so like at every start of the chapter there's there's like a little bit of this oh no I'm actually so excited yeah she I because she enjoyed it I kind of feel like I want to might I might like underline everything that I love seeing but I always find that when I like annotate books it takes so long and then last but not least I got Masters of Death by Olivia Blake I'm very excited so this is also a fantasy I just love the cover as well like are you actually kidding so it says, there is a game that the immortals play. There is only one rule, don't lose. Viola Marek is a struggling estate agent and vampire, but her biggest issue is that the house she's selling is haunted. The ghost haunting this mansion has been murdered and until he solves the mystery behind his death, he refuses to move on. Fox Dmora is a medium. He's also a shameless fraud. He's not entirely useless, however, as he's also the godson of death. When Viola seeks out Fox to resolve her ghost infestation, Fox becomes embroiled in a quest that neither he nor Vi expects or wants. Luckily, they can enlist a crew of supernatural creatures, including a poltergeist, a demonic personal trainer, a sharp-voiced angel, and a love-stricken reaper. Soon, Vi and Fox discover that the difference between a mysterious lost love and an annoying dead body isn't nearly as distinct as they thought. Like that is so cool i'm so excited and it's the same font as um i want to like identify this font because i loved this font as well it was in um jeanette mccurdy's i'm glad my mum died look at the font and i just oh my god i can't deal with this i'm so excited okay so there's those three books and then i'm obviously I, um, this is what's in my tote. Then I've got my Heartless book that I want to keep reading. I did end up coming here yesterday and picking up Malibu Rising because I had finished um, the final gambit. So I was like, I need a new book. But then I got these three books last night and I'm thinking maybe I might want to read one of these first before Malibu Rising. I keep pushing her back though. I feel really bad. Um, but obviously I'll get to her. And then last but not least, I got a Flexi Book Light because I always find like... I need the light on or a lamp on and I think it'd be nice to have more of like a portable thing saving energy but also light like that's directly onto my book let's see what this looks like do I have to set this up oh thank goodness it comes with like a little cord so pretty much this is what it looks like it's adjustable to your own liking 
I'm guessing, like, let's test this on. Oh! I got so scared just then. Okay, wait, let's test this on my current book. So, where is it? So we're on, I'm just wondering how I would do this. I would have to like put it, I like have to like clip it onto like, I'm so confused right now. Wait, okay, so it's kind of like this. And then I want to like, say I want it to be like this. The light goes, oh! I'm so happy right now. And then I think you can go brighter, a bit brighter, which is cute. I'm actually so happy. You have no idea how much I've wanted these. Like I have, I have been putting it off for so long because I'm like, oh, $35, is it worth it? It's fucking worth it, guys. I am so excited. Um, all right, so now what I need to do in this vlog is I need to take some, well, I'm not gonna film myself, but now what I need to do is I need to take some photos for my bookstagram and just in general just to have in the files um yeah i'm just like, like like such a happy girl right now i'm so happy i could die look at how i look like i actually can't do with myself i look so 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 not good i don't want to say nasty really nasty things about myself but um, this is just me inserting a clip of me saying, here's my photos that I took yesterday. So enjoy my photos. They're kind of cute, actually. I really like them. I got a massive pimple on my chin, so I don't want you to see it. Ah! <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
I watched the entire thing. I just stayed on the couch the whole time. And then I went to sleep for like six hours. And then I woke up and I was like, all right, we're doing this. It was so good. It was the best fucking weekend of my life. Like, no, oh, I was just so invested. And that also that um, book is based off like the recommendation for that show. But anyway, other than that, uh, we better get stuck into this reading, which is really exciting. I'll let you know my thoughts later on. I'll also let you know how far I've progressed. So I'm pretty sure I'm 24% of the way into this book, which is so silly, but I've just been incredibly busy. So yeah, we're just gonna get into it. I'm up to chapter 12 and as far as I'm aware, there is 36 chapters. <laughs> All right, well, I'm not even halfway, so that's fine. All right, got my dogs here. I've got Hanny over there and Lucky. He's still like who's right here. Guys, I just had to put the book down for a sec because like I'm actually overwhelmed. Like I just finished a chapter that like blew me away. Um it was like heavily anticipated though. Like we knew something like this is gonna come up, and all I can say is wow. I'm going to continue reading. I just need a little breather because that was intense. It was crazy, it was beautiful, it was just everything I wanted. Yeah, it was so perfect. Um, I can't believe this. I can't. <laughs> oh my God. I'm reading the cutest part of the book right now. I'm, <laughs> this is genuinely like making me feel sick to my stomach though. Not in like a, like a, oh my God, this is terrifying. Just like, <laughs> there's a part in the book where they're all vomiting. <laughs> Um, but it's also like so cute. <laughs> There's like no context right now. You won't understand because I don't want to spoil it. But like, I feel sick right now. <laughs> Just like I don't know. But it's really cute. I'm I'm dying. I'm gagging <laughs> in a good way. It's so cute. You know, like when someone takes care of you. It's so fucking cute. <laughs> I actually like love this book so much already. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die when it ends, I feel. I might. I better keep reading. I probably look so bad and I've got a bit of a sore stomach, but I'm up to page 384. I have just less than 50 pages left of this book and something or a lot of fucks things have happened but something crazy is about to happen oh my god <laughs> i can't believe this i'll let you know my thoughts by the end i'm actually like fucking crying Page 412.
I have literally two things left. I've got the last chapter and then the epilogue. What the fuck? Guys, I finished it and it's a five star. I, I just need to do a bit more reflecting, but honestly, Cade is everything to me. I've also always liked older men as well. And I thought it was very, very cute. And I'm just so, I just feel really elated. I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> My tummy is killing me. I have such a sore stomach, but I just love how different this book is to the first one. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a good difference and I still loved both of them. So I'm so happy. I might have some more thoughts about this later on in the vlog, but yeah, very happy. Hey guys, um, yeah, exciting. I'll keep I'll keep you updated with my thoughts on this. Spoiler free, obviously, but yeah, let's go, guys. Let's drive all the way to Chadston and pick this up. Might get something to eat there as well, just because. I need something, you know. Okay, bye. Very happy, guys. Uh. Ow! I am so tired. Like, I can't even keep my eyes open. I just want to, like, you look cute and stuff in my vlog, but... Uh.